hey guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute i've been gone for months but i'm back and i'm better and i'm here to bring you guys some bomb looks so today i decided to do this colorful look um it's really like it's like i guess you could say it's it's I don't know how to explain it. it's really colorful but it's still smoky so it's definitely wearable for the nighttime I have glitter on my lids and I use the new palette from Mac the it's designer palette I just before I get into the video I just want to talk about this palette this palette is the bomb.com okay like these colors and the pigment in this palette is amazing the palette price is $49.50, but it's worth every penny. Um, they're super pigmented. There's like really no fallout. Like there's, I can't really say anything bad about this palette. Like this palette is amazing. It's beautiful. You could do so many different looks with it. So I would definitely say if you were thinking about getting this palette, go out and get it because it is worth every penny. How I got this look, please continue watching. Okay, so first I'm going to start with my brows. So I started doing my brows a little bit different now. I kind of, I don't fill it in, then carve it out, then put the gel. I actually do the gel first, then I carve it out, then I fill it in. So I'm going to just use the MAC brow set. It's just a clear gel. And I'm going to use this to comb up my brows. And I like them completely brushed up. See that? The difference? So I just like to brush them up first. I feel like this gives it more of a fuller effect and it still looks more natural. So now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Fair. And I'm gonna take this hot, this brush was from a holiday collection from MAC. It's just a flat round brush. And I'm gonna take some of that and I'm gonna use this to carve out my brow. I'm gonna carve it out like that and then I'm gonna take a real and then I'm gonna take a real techniques brush that looks like this and I'm gonna use this to buff out the brow and I just like to drag that down we really want to press it because we still want that highlight and that brightness under the brow. And I like to just brush it in the middle. I'm gonna take my brow pencil, and this one is like, it's a pencil marker. It's called Shape and Shade Brow Tint, and the color Spiked. Oops, I got it in the middle. And this is like a marker, so it has a felt tip. And I just like to shake it a little bit and then I'm going to draw in the hairs. See that? 
And then I go in the front and I just line that. See that? And then to soften it, you could just kind of press your finger in the front and that will soften it. So you see, it still looks natural, it's just a little bit more bushy and filled in. So I'm going to do the other eye off camera, I'll be right back. Brows, and I already primed my eyes and the primer that I use is Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. And I just use this all over my lids. It's a light base, so I'm going to do something colorful today, so it's going to really pick up the color. So for today's eye look, we are going to be using the MAC Eyeshadow Palette from their Art Library Collection. In the palette, it's the shade right here, and the color Can't Afford This. And I'm going to use this shade. Look how pigmented that is. Do you see how bright that is? And I'm going to use this to go in my crease. Whoa, do you see that? So I'm gonna buff this into my crease. So now I'm going to go into the blue shade right here and I'm going to take that and I'm going to go under the orange. See that? Look how pigmented this is. I'm gonna go in with, where is it? Back with my Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm gonna use this to give myself the cut crease, to carve my crease out. So I just put it on the back of my hand. I'm just using this. And you really wanna flatten the brush. Get it really flat. So now we're gonna carve the crease. So now I'm going to take this Morphe brush. I don't know the number, but it's just a flat top like this. I'm going to spray it with some Fix Plus to get that wet. And then I'm going to go in with the shade If It Ain't Baroque, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to put this on my lid. Yes, yet. And I'm just gonna press that on the lid.
want to give this an extra pow. So I'm going to go in with glitter. And the glitter I'm going to go in with, this one's called Iridescent White. It's from MAC. So I'm going to go in with this glitter. And to adhere the glitter, I'm going to use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And this is the Glitter Bonding Eyeshadow Primer from Too Faced. It looks like this. I'm going to see it this way. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. Oh, I hope I have more left because I had this for a while. So literally just a dime size. You don't need too much. And I'm going to take the same brush that I used to press the shadow on. And I'm just going to press over the shadow. Then I'm going to take the glitter. I'm just going to pour a little bit on the back of the top. If I could get this open. Ooh, so I'm spilled out. So I just poured a little bit in the back of the top. And I'm going to pick that up. And for liner I'm going to use is the Bl Brush Black Brush Stroke Eyeliner. It has a felt tip like this. It's from MAC. It looks like this. So I'm going to use this. It's easy to give yourself a wing because it's like a marker. use these lashes called iconic from the beauty supply store they're faux mink lashes and i just put a little glue and these are in the number 21 so they're really long and wispy This is how it looks. So I already primed my skin and the primer that I use for my skin is the Infallible Glow Lock from L'Oreal. I love this primer. So it just illuminates the skin, it gives it a dewy finish, and it smooths out your pores. So I'm going to be using two foundations today. I'm going to be using the Studio Fix Fluid from MAC in NC35. And then I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD in the color Y315. And it looks like this. So I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna shake the Studio Fix first. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger like that and just bring that all over my skin. I gotta get a new one, I'm almost finished. Then I'm gonna take some of this, the stick foundation from Makeup Forever. I'm 
So now that I have that all over, I'm gonna take my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I'm gonna use this. Absolutely love this concealer. It's the Infallible Full Wear by L'Oreal. This is how it looks. It literally looks like the Shape Tape. It has the big dome applicator as well as it. And I'm the color. Where's my color? I'm in the color 350. So I'm gonna take some of this and put this under my eye to brighten. This concealer is really smooth. And it's long wearing. Then I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation Stick in the color 330 Caramel. I'm gonna use this to contour. So now I'm going to go in with the Inglot Powder Puff and I'm going to use this to set under my eye and I'm going to use the Fit, Me, the Fit Me Powder by Maybelline in the color 5. So this is going to be my highlight shade. So I like to take it like this. Then I'm gonna go in with the Fit Me powder in the number 20. It's the loose powder with the same powder puff. And I'm just gonna pour that out on the cat. And just set this.
So the liner that I'm gonna go in with for under my eye, this is the color High Def Cayenne from MAC. It's the chromographic pencil, the blue. And I'm gonna go in with this in my waterline. Then, I'm gonna take a pencil brush. This one is from Morphe. It's a E36 brush, pencil brush. It looks like this. And I'm gonna go back in to the It's Designer palette in the orange shade. So now that I buffed that extra powder off, I'm gonna go in with this bronzer from Inglot, and it's a JLo bronzer. When she had had her, well, she still has the collection with Inglot. It's the Jennifer Lopez bronzer in Boogie Down Bronze. This bronzer is everything. So I'm gonna just use the same brush. This is the, oh my God, the MAC 168 brush. It's just an angle buffing brush. Good for contouring blush all that stuff so I'm gonna take that bronzer and I'm gonna contour now her last name Nicole Guerrero blah, blah, blah. anyways I'm gonna use her palette her highlighting palette from the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna go in with glow getter and kitty cat and I'm gonna use this to highlight my cheeks Now we're going to go in with blush, and the blush that I'm going to use is Peaches by MAC. It's a peachy blush, 
So I'm gonna take some of this with the same brush. So I'm gonna put that right on the tip of my cheek. And I like to just buff it back into the highlighter and the and the bronzer. So now we're gonna move on to lips. So for lips, I'm gonna use the MAC Lip Pencil in the color Cork. It's a All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. This is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed my video. I can't wait to see you guys next time.